Pet Place Football Manager. Hello gamers and welcome to Pet Place Football Manager 2013 uh, Season 9 Episode 1. This episode is going to be a bit different. It's more like a vlog thing and we are also going to talk about the game of course. But uh, you know how I've been playing, I've been playing Football Manager like a madman. Uh, basically the first uh, seven episodes were filmed in uh, and edited at the same time. I just recorded play, 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 play and the quality isn't actually that great. But in a way the quality improves over time. Now uh, I know that some of you actually subscribed um, at the channel because of my Football Manager um, videos and I'm happy for that. The thing is that this channel is not actually Football Manager only. And um, I'm working on my website, I'm still working on my website, I'm uh, buying a template right now and I need to customize it and so on and it's more of a gaming channel where I'm going to review games, talk about games in a honest uh, possible way. So the reason why I haven't uploaded uh, that many Football Manager episodes is because I'm trying uh, to focus on doing um, you know, some other reviews on some other games. I've been I finished Far Cry 3 on awesome game and I'm uh, kind of having a problem to motivate myself to do it and even finding a good way on how to do that review because it's not actually that easy. Like right now I'm um, you know just talking and hopefully I'm, I'm hoping for you to still listen but on the review I still need to have uh, to talk about different stuff of the game and I need to find a balance between me talking freely and uh, still providing a uh, decent information about the game and at the same time not trying to be you know professional like a journalist because I'm not and I'm not aiming for that so I'm still trying to find that balance now um, the thing is I, I was like, I remember I was talking with a guy once and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to do quality content. I'm not going for that let's play channels because, you know, like uh, there, there are channels of players, of people that do let's play and you just see like a shitload of videos uploaded every day, like uh, Far Cry uh, let's play episode 56, like Jesus Christ and I'm trying to do everything much more edited, much more uh, shorter, only to provide the quality content. So I was still like, I'm not actually going to do Let's Play, but still if you look at my channel, you are going to see a lot of Football Manager episodes. And even if I'm trying to make it like a show, like I'm still going to edit everything and make it, it uh, between uh, 20 and 30 minutes episodes and not like uh, you looking at loading screens and all that stuff. I, I'm editing everything. It still looks like a Let's Play channel. So that's why I've looked and I said like, oh, okay, too much football manager, let's try to do it. And if you look at my channel, I've uh, did the upcoming uh, 2013 games that are making me excited. I did a Dota 2 video, which took me like one day because I had problems with the encoding, with the recording. Oh my God, huge story there. So I'm, I'm still going to do the Football Manager episodes and um, the reason why I'm doing this vlog thing and I'm not just going directly into the game is because lately I've been receiving you know, comments in the videos of people who actually watch the episodes and were like, yeah, when are you going to do the new episode? Like, oh, I I've watched all your episodes. I'm like, really? <laughs> you watch everything? And uh, this kind of made me happy and a bit excited. and. Uh, realize that I'm not like the only one out here who's doing the videos and hopefully 20 people are going to watch it because one month ago when I was uploading a video only like I, I got two or 30, two, two thousand, uh, 30, Jesus Christ I'm having problem with numbers, uh, 30 views per video and right now I'm uh, getting about 100 and um, I'm excited that people still watch those series and I'm thinking on how to improve them. Now I am already having some ideas on how to improve the show but that's only going to happen on uh, Football Manager 2014, that means next year. And the whole idea of um, this show is to document my gameplay and not actually show you how I'm playing, you know, I, I'm trying to make it in a way 
for you to see a progression, you know, and not just some dude putting some tactics, getting some players. I, I want you to see players evolving, you know, like a story, because this is what's beautiful about this kind of games. We can progress to time fast, you know, like right now you are seeing a story, you are living a story, you know, the story of your life, of course, but get, you know, messy in real life. In order to see his story, you are actually going to live through it year by year. But in game, you can actually see see him how how he progresses. You know, in a much faster way. You can see him becoming a coach if he's going to. You can see regions rising from they are when they are 15 years old until they retire. And this is something that it's making me excited about the game. Like if you remember, you know, Luca Hamel. Of course, you should remember because he's kind of you know my star. Uh, some of you know if you were watching the episode that i bought this guy when he was 15 years old and i still want to continue play with wolves and i still want to keep this guy until he retires and see his you know the progression of his whole career now the downside of this is that in order to do a documentation i actually need to put a lot of hours of work into it which of course means that I would concentrate too much on football manager and it's not really, you know, it's not really working time wise because if I want this channel to grow, I need to do more stuff like I want normally to do. So I'm actually going to do this on football manager 2014. Again, we are going to take a team and we are going to see how it goes. But next year, I'm actually going to try to take a screenshot of each player each uh, season that I'm going to put on the website so you'll be able to actually let, let me see if I can show you how my website looks right now it's awful I'm going to change the whole template but I want you to show you an idea let me see if okay I'm going to do a screen capture so basically this is how my website looks right now pretty awful I'm going to do it's still not finished of course but uh, and I think you're kind of seeing it distorted because of the resolution anyway um, basically you are going to see gaming shows and we are going to click the show you are going to see a story and then I'm doing uh, you know season one season two season three and so on but right now you're only going to, for example, if you want to see season two, video three, you're just going to click on it and you're going to see the video. But this is all you see. It's just a list of videos. But in the next step, in the next, you know, season next year, I want to do more stuff. Like you're going to click on season two and you're going to see a story or goals without actually having to click the video and see me talk. You're going to see the players and this will make it, I don't know, more interesting in a way. This is what this is what I actually want you to tell me. Like, how can I improve this series now on? Let's look in the future a bit. And um, like, for example, going back. Come on, what the hell? Okay, Blah. I was like, what? N nothing is changing. Anyway, as you can see, uh, episode two from season four is uh, an episode dedicated to junior development and in that episode it i think it was it was like a one hour episode i took screenshots with the players and see how they improved in like two years now i can do that again but it's somehow just too time wasting because some of the players are simply gone and um it's kind of no purpose if i'm not going to do it pretty like i told you in the website so i'm uh, really looking forward to hear your suggestion because i know that there are some of you who are actually watching the show and that is making me happy i just want you to understand that um i'm not going to put that much you know football manager content in i'm still going to try to put one episode each week but hopefully you are still going to watch you know my other videos because when my website is done i'm going to try to raise money to buy a forum and then we are going to have a place where we can talk and my goal is to actually do a gaming community in a way that you know gamers can interact you know if you go to football manager official website you are going to see a shitload of spam with people who complain with people i just want to have a decent 
environment we can we, we can discuss tactics we can discuss uh, gaming in general not just football manager so i i'm, I'm curious to hear about what you think and wha- how we can improve you know the website the community and so on just don't think of this show of just some video with some guy that's playing uh you know football manager now let's go and dig deep in and one thing i haven't played for like something like one week so i still need to remember but i just became the england coach and i remember like two three four seasons ago when i applied they were like i got news that the you know the england federation were laughing at my application and now when uh, i applied and they accepted me they were like they can't believe that i want to coach and they are happy that i want to coach the england squad and you know stuff like that and i was like really now in the past football manager games i wasn't actually that i i basically just resigned after like two seasons of of coaching the national team because i found it a bit not that interesting because it's just it, it just adds some other kind of uh, match that you need to coach and build in and it wasn't that exciting for me but it might be exciting because you know i'm doing the videos now and you are going to watch it and you are watching it and uh, maybe it's going to add another side of this show on me coaching the england uh, squad it will allow us to have a look at the english players and if it will allow us to you know live another experience you know the world cup uh, you know the uh, qualifiers and so on and actually england i believe they actually won the european football championship versus slovakia and this is a bit weird right <laughs> so i i'm usually not the type of player that checks the national teams i just focus on my team and my league and that's all and maybe for you for some of you this is boring i don't know i'm just give me input so i'm kind of they, they are expecting me to qualify and i think that's about it but i kind of need to do a good job hey look head coach profile and there is my picture all right major clubs wolves yeah i'm a major club major transfers yeah i sold this guy who's this guy and why it is a, what why is it a major major nine million <laughs> yeah, yeah you know the guys how i'm sometimes buying uh free players actually i'm not buying i'm signing free players and i got this guy from dormund and he's not really that great but i managed to sell him for nine million dollars and okay more money and if you look right now i have a transfer budget remaining of 104 million dollars but i'm not going to spend any money why because right now the club balance is 42 million dollars but projected balance without me spending the money is minus 40 million dollars and we do have a bank loan and the reason for that is that we are actually expanding the stadium uh, i'm not sure where to show you that facilities uh not there you see where is it where is it oh i also talked with them i told them we need junior coaching and they improved the junior coaching and there are uh, now now we have an established youth recruitment uh yeah i planned expansion of uh seven thousand five blah, 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 seats and that's okay so we are improving the team and you know we we this is also another thing sometimes you create a team that in one year it's the best team ever but then players kind of get old and you are suddenly not having such a good team and you need to have juniors to promote and it's fluctuating sometimes you are up and then you are going down and it's kind of hard you know in a manager way to find a way to keep you up so this is why we actually need to buy uh, youngsters and promote them because right now if you i found a couple of youngsters who are pretty good but they have prices like 15 million dollars already and it's a you ki- I kind of risk it of being it a flop because i'm paying 15 million dollars but i had and, and i actually had plenty of juniors who turned out to be crap and some of them i've lost them on free transfers so um 
this is the thing and right now I'm working on club finances I have a decent squad it's not the best squad but uh, with Luka Heimer who's like the best European striker there is right now he won uh, goalsters in Premier League he won goalster in uh, championship in uh, sorry in uh, UEFA Champions League in uh, the cup and uh, you know it's pretty 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 good I'm curious if uh, some of you got this thing which pretty pretty from where where is it from so this is our focus look <laughs> I got this guy like one or two seasons ago and for free and uh, it's eight million dollars and I'm trying to promote him because this is not an eight million dollars player come on 20 finishing 17 composure determination 20 good stamina good strength good passing good penalty taking good uh, first quick uh, free kick talking good good first uh, touch good anticipation come on it's not an eight million dollars player so I'm trying to play him and rise his value and sell him later or maybe who knows we are just going to keep him because at Demilson I don't know the main problems I am thinking right now that's going to arrive in the next uh, one or two seasons it's uh, with ways because he's already 30 years old and uh, how much how, how much time can I still play him like two years and he's already going to drop the same thing with uh, defender left you know uh, Ins Thomas Ins was our main guy but let's face it he's not really that great all he has is some dribbling some technique and even the pace it's okay at 15 but it's still not great and then uh, he's not really that great and he was kind of our main guy I didn't even consider on buying someone else I was focused on other areas and even Tubanu 31 years old we got him for free our main target was to just resell him I remember I was uh, signing him on free on uh, for free when I was live streaming so yeah another thing guys when my website will be done I'm going to do live streams almost every day and when I'm going to play football manager I'm going to live stream and you will be able to actually experience everything by at hand and not with the with the cuts and uh, some of you or some of the subscribers are I actually got by live streaming on twitch so twitch.tv slash gamerpad don't forget to check it out and follow there and um, yeah with the website you'll be able to see when I'm actually going to stream everything will be scheduled and so you will know when to watch it's more like television <laughs> so we are actually going to listen to music talk about tactics look at players and so on, interact with the chat so it's a pretty good experience so um, back on the players thing I am playing this guy as a defend as a midfielder right as you can see oh he kind of become a natural oh cute this guy was a striker yeah yeah 100% he was a striker when I bought him unfortunately I can't check it because I need to you know to go at the videos uh, and I basically trained him as a midfielder right but as you can see right now no position is not set because I said uh, because I just threw it out and let him uh, train at composure um, but he w actually was yeah a striker and right now he become a midfielder right natural I, I didn't know that players can become natural on other position or maybe I'm stupid because Luca Hammer is an attacking midfielder center natural and I decided to just play him as a striker and as you can see he's still as a striker he's still uh, not natural you know he's uh, accomplished hmm now from my last update also another thing uh, I need to get you know the sound of the microphone improved because uh, when I first started I was talking like this and I'm like a retard yeah, I just need to change some settings in my sound mixer and right now I talk like this and it should be clear for us but I don't have a pop filter so whenever I'm using words like P you are hearing that sound and it might be distracting for you I don't know um, okay Hennessy is injured 
for another three weeks. He's our backup. I promised him that I will win Europa League next season, but I mean, come on, dude. You're already old. So this is my main goalkeeper, of course, you know. The downside of him is that he has Hedling only 13, but he's still top goalkeeper. And this guy promoted him. Uh, he's a junior. Specific weakness, important matches. Eh. But two stars from five stars, potential ability. And uh, he's my third goalkeeper. Normally my third goalkeeper was uh, Verhoeven. But I loan him and I was actually thinking on selling him. Actually, let me look at the transfers because I had a lot of uh, transfers going. Okay, transfers in. As you can see, I only spent 11 million dollars and I sell, sold 44 million dollars. Okay, look, let's look at what I bought. Tim Brise, a striker for four stars and a half. Dribbling, finishing, and good teamwork and work rate. And as you can see, no real pace. Of course, he's going to improve. But the main goal of uh, this striker is to be a deep lying forward. This is the guy that's going to stay between midfielders and strikers. And he's going to pass the ball to the uh, striker to try to create chances for the poacher. You know, the guy that's just going to run like Luca Hammer. So I'm actually going to try and try to train him at passing. I'm training him at composure. I'm going to let him like that and then I'm going to change it to passing. Again, passing without doing the passing. Uh, Danilo Gotardi. Uh, he kind of got only three stars. I'm not sure exactly why I bought him. I think I thought he was better, but main weakness, intelligence, specific weakness, creativity. Like this guy is the classic striker. Like, duh! Where's the ball? Where's the goal? Let's go and shoot. I don't know. Maybe it's a flop. It's only 1.8 million dollars. 1.1 million dollars. This guy, defender central, four stars and a half. Let's see how he's going to turn out. Then this guy from Castilla, 1.1, a goalkeeper, uh, only three stars. It's maybe this is going to improve and we are going to just sell him for profit. This guy for free. Why? Oh. And I already transfer listed him already. I don't think I can even sell him. Oh, they just want him on loan. Okay. Well, he's not, he doesn't seem, you know, that bad. I mean, 15 finishing, of course, he's not good at composure and pace. So it's not my league level, but he's still, you know, decent for a, eh, I don't know. We are going to sell him next season, probably. Same thing probably f with this guy. It's not actually, this guy seems a bit better, but he's already 20 years old. So this is why he's not actually that great because he's not actually going to improve that much. So again, this was another transfer. This, this guy looks like a dead man. Bishop Kyle, again, one of these players that I got for free trying to resell. Uh, this goalkeeper seems a bit better, you know, at potential. And then this guy for 3.4 million dollars, who is also a striker, but it's a bit strange again with teamwork. But you look at the, you know, look at Hammer when I bought him. He already had, you know, good skills at pace um, and uh, dribbling, I believe, and finishing. But this guy is missing a shitload of um, mental attributes. So I'm expecting it to be a flop, like positioning one. <laughs> because, you know, He's 15 years old, and I've I've checked the progress between Luca Hamel and uh, when he was 15 and where he is now. And in some areas, he only improved like four points. So again, this guy is going to be what 10 creativity, 13 decisions, 12 anticipation. It's not really that great, you know what I mean. So you have to see. Then what I sold, I caught this guy out for free, like whatever. It was one of my players. Two million dollars for this guy, I believe it was one of my players. Yep. Eh, whatever. Bad player. This guy out for free. Out for free. Out for free. Oh yeah, Bastian Dumont. Do you guys remember this guy? We bought him uh for free actually so we didn't lost that actually we lost money because we paid salary for him and uh, we didn't got any money back 
but uh, I hoped for him to improve and he didn't actually improve that well I mean he has dribbling he has crossing he's not really that bad at physical abilities but come on positioning five teamwork eight bravery eight anticipation eh, decisions creativity so no one wanted to buy him so we just had to let him go we loaned this guy uh, actually I bought this guy and is he supposed to come right then when I bought him but it turned out I'm not sure exactly why he came like one year later or six months later and it wasn't for free actually so I don't know exactly why he came uh, that late and when he came he was only three stars so I decided to just loan him it's a defender left and you know, know my problems on finding a good defender left or right uh, yeah my my goalkeeper this guy is supposed to be my main goalkeeper I actually not my main my backup but uh, he didn't improve that much in a way and I decided to just turn out into a profit and 11 million dollars for a goalkeeper is not really that bad as you can see his anticipation is not really great and I can't actually improve him too much because who wants to put a junior goalkeeper in like I mean you can't put a midfielder you can't put a striker in like okay he's not going to score he's not going to pass but uh, he's still going to play some time and you know you you are going to put them in when you are leading with 3-0 or 2-0 but you don't want to do that with a defender or a goalkeeper so it's kind of hard to rise uh, you know goalkeepers or defenders two million dollars for scott fern yeah it is one of our players this was another player that we got for free just to resell this guy also same deal same deal same thing we just got him for free kept him for one season and we sold him and funny thing is you know we, we did that with uh, Kokol and uh, Joel <laughs> and uh, they kind of uh, and yeah Kokol right now you know we got him for uh, this sum we sold him for nine million dollars he played at Norwich he played pretty well and then uh, he's right now at Chelsea for 21 million dollars so this is why I'm trying you know Liposhek that uh, striker I'm trying to actually pay him to rise his value and sell him for more money and there was that other uh, player Joel who I forgot well, I've shown I've showed him to you last season in last episode so I'm still going to try to find yeah this is the one who's his value right now I got him for free I sold him for 4.5 million dollars then Norwich sold him after one season for 40 million dollars so like okay I was so happy that all right score I sold him for so many so much money and then they sell him for even more money you know so I'm trying to be a bit smarter with my uh, with when I'm going to sell a player May maybe try to see him a potential in him like you know this guy this guy is not an eight million dollars player come on uh, so I was talking about transfers okay la, 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 la. Uh, this is history okay transfers here it is um, I've loaned Verhoeven Grunday Michael Grunde, you know my defender, one of my defenders that I was actually trying to promote, uh, he, he turned out to not be that great, I mean decision 12 and the tackling and marking is not really that great so I just decided to sell him, uh, Tottenham bought him for 9.5 million dollars and that's a good sum of money, Klaus, this guy this was really I didn't even try to promote this guy I just got him for free and right now when I sold him for 9 million dollars like yeah score and as you can see my total transfers are 44 million dollars so I'm trying to make the club into to turn it into a profit mains are right now three point stars half and um, we actually talk about you know talked about the players last season and in the past season so I'm not going to actually show you the players again but this was more like a, you know more like a vlog type of thing I'm going to play a bit right now I believe or maybe I'm going to play tomorrow and I'm going to stream it live I know maybe what's tomorrow I forgot I don't know I don't want to promise and tell you just just, just subscribe to twitch and when I'm going to uh, 
um, to to stream I'm going to you are going to be able to see me there because you're going to receive an email when I'm live um, so uh, this is the main tactic on season 9 try to not spend that much money this, this was also the goal on last season but we are continuing that goal and try to play with the team better we are also going to focus on uh, the England squad so I want you to tell me exactly how do you want me to play because uh, I'm doing the videos my way and since right now let's say I have some viewers I have some uh, fan base who want to see these viewers I, <laughs> right uh, tell me exactly what you want to see players tactics someone suggested that it will be more interesting to do a video after at the end of each month and that will make it more interesting what do you guys think about that in a way I mean not a video because I don't want to spam the channel as I told you I aim for three episodes per season and a season is actually taking um, a lot of hours so uh, maybe if I'm doing uh, you know episodes after each month and then cut them and put them together you're going to maybe leave the experience better but in the downside it means more work for me and uh, that will mean I can't actually focus more on the website and on the, the whole gaming thing that I told you at the end um, at the start of the video and funny thing is you know like I'm wearing my glasses when I'm playing and I was doing the video and I was like yeah, I need to change the settings for the webcam, you know, because you know it's not on out of focus, and I was like, uh, it's it's still doing bad stuff. Uh, it's you know, yeah, it's too yellow. I need to change the exposure and you know the color temperature te temperature temperature. And I was like, yeah, oh, okay, it's great. It was yellow because of the glasses, you know, because they are yellow. Yeah, you can't actually see it. Yeah. Anyway, so this is more. Of a strange episode I'm not sure if you enjoyed it or not we didn't actually play anything it was it was more of me rambling about um, again tell me exactly what you want to see and how to take this because let's do you know the goal of me is to do this together with everybody that can create a gaming community and um, yeah Thanks guys for uh, watching and uh, see you on the next episode. I still need to do that Far Cry 3 review and uh, that's going to be my next video. I just need to motivate myself to do it and see how to do it in a good way because Far Cry 3 is an awesome game and you guys need to play it. So thanks guys again. Bye and uh, see you soon.